Welcome to a reaction video with In the Hyperloop. I'm your host, Blake Annenberg, and this week's episode features TransPod. They have had a lot of press lately, and we're gonna check out um, some of what they're doing. So TransPod has had some press about their new um, plan to build a test facility in Limoges, France. And this test facility will um, eventually help connect with Paris in about 40 minutes in a hyperloop. And as you can see right now, it would take about three hours, 37 minutes to drive um, between these two cities. So the first video I wanna show is a news report um, and it kind of just gives an overview of what just happened. Limoges, Paris, en moins de 40 minutes. Voici le projet de l'hyperloop. Voyager dans des capsules qui se déplacent à la vitesse de l'avion dans un tube, environ 800 km h grâce à la propulsion électromagnétique. Une technologie déjà testée aux états unis Neuf sociétés et universités concurrentes développent actuellement le projet dans le monde. C'est ici que pourrait être construite la piste d'essai pour l'hyperloop dans le Limousin, une ancienne ligne de chemin de fer. L'idée de Sébastien Gendron, un ingénieur aéronautique. L'objectif, là, c'est clairement d'avoir une ligne d'un petit peu plus de 3 km. Je ne sais pas si vous voyez bien, là, donc on a, on a vraiment la longueur qu'il faut. En plus, on est des rectilignes, donc on a, on a vraiment l'objectif et la possibilité d'atteindre des vitesses importantes. Une photo pour imaginer une piste qui coûterait 20 millions d'euros. Une fois les tests réalisés, d'autres essais devront être effectués sur une piste plus longue. We'll have more videos about uh, Transpod and their test tracks soon, but I just want to give you a, a quick introduction to them if you've never heard about them. This next video is what a possible station um, design would look like in Montreal or any other city. And I want you to notice uh, how they used other modes of transportation in the design of the station. You see a lot of Hyperloop companies wanting to have security as tight as like an airport security. And so theoretically also, these companies would want to connect Hyperloop stations or portals to airports and you only have to go through security once. So you'd have shopping and other conveniences like a normal airport uh, in this very light and plant heavy station that's gorgeous, I love that. Um, and then you would go down uh, some stairs and um, you would kind of be faced with a regular train depot. But I want you to see and notice, it's hard to read, but there's a different pod every two minutes in this one uh, track or portal. Um, and also, it's, it appears to be really easy to get in and out of the pod. Um, you know, you could use a wheelchair, um, and that's really nice. And you notice how people are entering into the pod at the front and then disembarking at the back. So that would perhaps be a little bit more speedy um, to get in and out of the pod. The next video is, um, it focuses more on the cargo and this is in the middle of kind of one of their videos, but it's a, an important feature of the Hyperloop, how it would be palletized cargo and similar to an airplane. Same 
this new mode of um, and the final pod is, or the final uh, video is the interior of what it might look like in this uh, transpod pod. This is pretty slick. I like their music. <laughs> Private family. Can you imagine a party pod? <laughs> There's the party pod. Well, I just wanted to show you these different groups and what they look like. Um, right now we're seeing a lot of kind of demonstration um, physical interiors of pods, but um, there's other companies working out there. Tell us what you think about these different designs. Um, would you like this? What would you like to see? Where are the bathrooms? Um, perhaps we can reach out to these companies and ask them these questions directly. So make sure you're subscribed. Um, so you can join in on the discussion when we continue this conversation and we learn more about the future of Hyperloop technology. Um, if you want to help contribute, please again visit patreon.com slash in the Hyperloop. Thank you. Tell a friend. Uh, that does it for me. I'm Blake with In the Hyperloop, bringing the hype out of the loop.